Ms. Griffin, what implications on public safety does the D.C. Circuit's um, net neutrality decision have for the transition to IP? Thank you. That court decision has tremendous implications for the phone network and the IP transition. Um, one lesson that we can take from it is that if the FCC has put a service into a, the information service box in terms of its regulatory classifications, the one thing it can't do is make it act like the phone network. And that becomes a huge problem when the service we're talking about is the phone network. Um, so if we can't, if the FCC can't require carriers to complete every call and make sure that we have complete reliability in the phone network without reclassifying these services as Title II telecommunication services, then that's what it needs to do to avail itself of the authority it has. Yeah, and I agree with you. Ms. Griffin, uh, the chairman is from Florida. Uh, but how should we evaluate the results of AT&T's IP trials in Florida and Alabama? What would a success look like? I think successful trials would be trials that have rigorously and objectively collected data that on a variety of parameters that's designed to inform us about these new technologies. So we know, for example, what is the impact on voice quality, what is the impact on reliability, um, and trials that do so transparently and continue to protect consumers throughout the trials so that even though this is an experiment and we're learning, we have safeguards to know that people won't be left behind during the trial. 